coffee beans and the, we preheated the roaster to 250 degrees. The coffee beans are cold, so the temperature on the roaster now is 134 degrees. And now it's going to start to rise one degree every three or four seconds. And by this very slow process, we're going to turn this coffee uh, into a regular roast. And it will roast very slowly, so the beans will turn the starches into sugar. The sugar will then caramelize, and you'll get a very unique flavor. And this roast is going to be a Vienna roast. And the temperature of a Vienna roast on my roaster is 445 degrees. So now the coffee is at 140 degrees. It went up six degrees since I started speaking. I can watch the flames through this window and watch the color of the bean through the front window. So I can adjust the flame under the drum, or I also control the amount of air that goes in the roaster. Now what I'm going to be looking for first is I'm going to be looking for the bean to start to shed its skin. When it starts shedding its skin, I'm going to put a vacuum in the roaster and clean it. And that's going to take about five minutes now. Now what's going to happen during the roast is going to be called the first crack and the second crack. What that means, at the first crack, the coffee will double in size. And in the second crack, it's going to, the sugars are starting to come to the surface. And I'm going to be taking the coffee beans out during the second crack so I get a perfect Vienna roast. So this changes the airflow to no air. And a little vacuum's inside, and the little tiny specks of the skin that's starting to come off are going to go up the chimney. And the heavier part of the skin will fall to the bottom, and that's called chafe. The chafe is just the outer skin of the bean. As Soon as I see it's clean enough, I'm going to put more air into it and make it go slower again. The whole idea is to get it so the starch is turned into sugar, and that's what we're doing next. I just slowed it down. Beans are clean. Now we're roasting slower again. We're now at 289 degrees, and we're going to bring this up to 445. Now the aroma is starting to come out, and you can smell the coffee being roasted. The beans are now turning yellow from green. The darker it gets, the more aroma will come out. So we're past the yellow stage and it's getting to be a cinnamon color. And I'm going to change the amount of air again. The first snap is starting to happen right now. The beans are now cracking and doubling in size. Now we're going to be browning them until the oil comes to the surface at the second crack. We're now at 400 degrees. And soon the alarm will go off. Here it is. Now I'm watching the flame, the air, the temperature, and the color of the beans at the same time to get it exactly where I want to get a perfect Vienna roast. We're now starting the second snap. Beans are snapping. Sugar is coming to the surface. It's almost ready to come out. I'm going to shut off the gas to the roaster. I'm going to put on my spinner. And I'm taking out the coffee. Time, 24 minutes and five seconds. And you can hear the beans snapping right on target. And the color is still getting darker as it's cooling with the air underneath it. And in just a few minutes, I'm going to go drop it into a bin, grind it up, and have some. Now the beans are still maturing, 
they will snap for up to two days after the roast because the beans are still maturing and the color will still get darker and darker even though it's out of the roaster, out of the oven. And the shine on the beans is the sugar that's caramelized that gives you this very unique flavor.